ability mike thank you so much for the sub this is gonna be really risky but i kind of want to lead off with the grap locked and bait them into taking the Mimikyu and then just inverting their stats turn one. This is going to be so risky, guys. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work, but I'm willing to go for it game one. Because why? Someone in the chat tell me why I'm bringing Grap Locked. If you were here last time, you already know. Why am I bringing Grap Locked? I'll give you a hint. There's not a real reason. Okay, because it's funny. Yes, because it's funny. Okay. So they should be going for the Bulldoze. I'm going to topsy-turvy them immediately. And I'm actually going to go right into Ferrothorn. It's not about winning, it's about sending a message. And that message is, you suck! <laughs> okay. Not really. Not really. I'm the one bringing the squid. Like, listen, there's no way they don't bulldoze activating a weakness policy and then go for the KO into Mimikyu to make sure I don't get Trick Room off. Because my Trick Room is all I need here. They should be like, I don't care about Grap Block. Grap Block's stinky. Like, honestly? I really hope this is a 100% got him moment. All right, Bulldoze. Oh yeah, baby. KO the Mimikyu. You're so scared of Mimikyu. You're so scared of Mimikyu, dude. You don't care about Graplock. Graplock's just chilling. Gonna go ahead and Ferrothorn? Hacks. Come on. Come on. See that steel spike into the Mimikyu. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's about to regret this game. He's about to regret this game, dude. Oh, look at that! You're at plus two attack, plus one defense, you're having a great time! Anyways. <laughs> Game one, unleash the funny. <laughs> you just experienced funny. Okay, um... Graplock's kinda stuck here. He's at minus two- dude, I kinda wanna send in Calyrex, but I know it's not safe yet. Um... I think I go for coaching power. I need to get rid of the Spectre first, to be honest. This is going to be a really weird turn, I think. Oh, this is going to be clutch. Dude, I'll take it. He's just like, okay, no, so Galio, you can get out of there now. Your job's done. He's like, you're gonna have a nice rest. <laughs> He's like, you earned this rest, so Galio. I'm sorry, bud. All right, this is gonna do like nothing, but it's better than, you know, the alternative. All right, um. I, I mean, I can just get Mimikyu in here. I really want this Trick Room. I'll protect. Yeah, I need the Trick Room. As soon as... Dude, he's got no defensive options now for Calyrex. Like, he can switch in the Solgaleo, but Weakness Policy is eaten up. So I'm not, like, particularly scared of it. All right, go ahead and Flare Blitz me or something. Man, what a perfect turn. What 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 a beautiful turn this has been. I might Octolock in this, uh, this Palkia. I should be able to get off a Trick Room here like 100% of the time. I'm going to go ahead and send in the Grap Lock now. I don't want to send in my... Um... <laughs> I don't want to send in my, my Ferrothorn to die to a Flare Blitz, but I also don't want to send the uh, the Glacier to die from a Flare Blitz, so I'll just take what I can get. 
Goes for the Earth Power. Makes sense. Makes sense. They shouldn't be able to KO me here, though. Unless they, like, absolutely crit me. And their Life Orb. Shame. Shame. Oh, they really didn't want that Trick Room up. Too bad. Um, I can just Drain Punch this Incineroar. I should be able to do that now. I'm gonna get my Calyrex in. Go for the Drain Punch. I'm assuming they're just gonna go ahead and try to KO... They shouldn't be able to KO Mimikyu here. Or they shouldn't try to KO Mimikyu with anything particularly strong. They're probably just gonna Earth Power again, so Calyrex eats it. And I should underspeed the Incineroar, so I'm gonna get a lot of health back here. Oh, yo, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hydro Pump. We eat that. You know, I never said we eat it well, um, but we eat it. We certainly eat it. Okay. Get ready for this god tier play. Get ready for this god tier play. I'm going to max Quake the Palkia, and I'm actually going to topsy-turvy this turn, expecting their Incineroar to come in. There's no way Incineroar doesn't come in. Guys, Incineroar didn't come in. I, I gained nothing. I gained nothing. I could have coachinged. I should have just coachinged. But I technically gained more from the other thing. Incineroar never came in, man. Alki uses Protect. I really hope Spectre protects as well. That'd be pretty cool. But it failed. Will-O-Wisp? Probably Will-O-Wisp. Honestly, not the end of the world. I'm just going to start coaching. Ch oh, I'm sorry, bud. Sorry to hear about that, uh, but no. Sorry to hear about that. <laughs> okay, uh, it's in my best interest to go for the Hailstorm on Spectrier. And I'm going to go ahead and Drain Punch the Palkia. Yeah. Even if Incineroar comes in here, it's like fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we get the Incineroar. We're still at plus one. Like, this is not a good spot for our opponent. And I'm going to get some health back, too. Protect? No protect. Okay, so they're going to let me get that from them. And I'm just going to start clicking Coaching Max Quake, because then they're going to run out of options for beating me, because Solgalia won't be able to break Calyrex at plus two defense. As they are not Focus Sash, which I really thought they'd be. Okay, I think I got two turns of Trick Room. I mean, you don't have to choose between one or the other. Between Will-O-Wisp and, and Intimidate, you don't need to choose. I, I personally think Will-O-Wisp has the benefit of not activating, you know... <laughs> not activating uh, Defiant on, like, every other Pokemon in the metagame. But beyond that, I think I prefer Intimidate. Just because you can't miss an Intimidate, you know? Okay. <clears throat> I currently see no reason not to Quake. And I'm going to attempt a Coaching... I'd really like to get this defense boost. Yep. And I think I underspeed this Incineroar unless they're running, like, absolute minimum. Actually, no. Even minimum Incineroar, I'm faster than under Trick Room. I'm dumb. I've just faced Iron Ball Incineroar and Iron Ball Kyogre so many times I never trust underspeeding things again. Okay. <clears throat> get ready to watch this uh, Sunsteel Strike bounce off of us.
suppose they could crit us. That's also a thing. Yoink! Oh, that just bounced off, bud. That just bounced off. If I have one more turn of Trick Room, it's pretty much done. Nope. Uh, out of Trick Room turns, but I'm fairly certain they can't break through. Because I'm at plus two special defense and plus one defense. I should be able to go for a protect coaching play here. Pretty sure it goes through. I've actually never clicked this funny enough. Draco Meteor, he's really going for that. I'm assuming a Sunseal Strike as well. Awesome. Let's go. Okay. Um, let me think. Uh, I should always... I'm pretty sure I always live this combination of hits. It's going to be a little bit close, to be honest. I, mean, I still have all my Pokemon. I pretty much... If they Draco Meteor me, I win with my... Um, let me Glacial Lance. I win with my Ferrothorn. Especially versus Solgaleo, so it's in my best interest to get rid of that. Uh, we'll also go for the Drain Punch onto you, since you're going to live this. Alright. This is pretty much resisted. Ooh, actually no. You know what? I'm starting to think I don't eat the hit. But I still win with Ferrothorn. Beginning to think I don't eat the hit, but I'm going to win with Ferrothorn anyways. They're at minus two. Yep, that's fine. A little bit of recovery. Not much. It's something, though. And I still haven't eaten my citrus berry. Oh, no, I did. Did I? I did. And they're taking a bit of chip here. I'll go Ferrothorn here. Alright, um... Prioritize Palkia. 100%. I could've Octolocked. Alright, don't have Flamethrower. Like there was cringe. Still at minus two. That's kind of nice. Earth power. All right, we're good. That's at minus two. We're going to eat that up. Oh, no, we don't. Did that crit? Yeah, that sucks. Don't have Flare Blitz on like AV. No, you're not AV. You are not. You don't have Flare Blitz then. There's no way you have Flare Blitz. Sunseal Strike? Yeah, I should win this. Yeah, no. All right. So after hail, body press should KO. Or I guess after body press, hail should KO. Yep. Oh, well, that's nothing a shadow sneak can't fix. And I suppose I'll iron defense here as well. Just to make the endgame speedier. All right, Iron Defense. We already established that thing doesn't have Flamethrower, or, or it would have clicked it last turn. Shadow Sneak you. They protect, that's fine. I still get my Iron Defense off. Makes it much harder for them to win. They go for Earthquake. Uh, interesting, because I don't think that KOs Mimikyu. Oh wait, I am pretty low, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. All right, I'm pretty sure Ferrothorn clutches this, as long as we can avoid crits or special defense drops. All 
All right. I will protect here. Watch them finally reveal, like, both Flare Blitz and Flamethrower. They just nanade me by hiding it until the end game. Ultimate conditioning play. No, they just have Earth Power. I should win. Superpower? No, just Earthquake. <laughs> well, uh, there goes Palkia. Oh, they're Telepathy. I forgot that that was a thing people run. Alright, um... No reason not to just target you. Earthquake's not going to do much, so even if they protect, you know. Alright, don't crit. Yeah, it did a lot. Anyways, they go down. Ferrothorn's stocks have, dr have uh, risen dramatically. True. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Thanks to the follows, Cookie and Kali. Alright, uh, we have to protect here just to play it safe. Because if I get crit, I think I might be in range of an Earthquake. Especially since it's single target. So, just to maximize our chances of winning here, let's make sure we protect this turn and get some more recovery. Do not touch the plant. He is spiky. I'd actually not mind if they would, like, Psychic Fangs me or something here. Watch him crit me here. Nah, alright. Good game. Nice. So that was a... <laughs> that was a nasty game for our uh, grab block there. Good game. Absolute nastiness. You aren't expecting to get it topsied, you know? Uh, I definitely need the trick room here. Like, 100%, I need the trick room to be able to topsy some turbies. So I'll go with this. Uh, I'm going to bring the Grap Locked, of course, of course. But Ferrothorn kind of destroys them, but I also need Calyrex. Because if I don't bring any Restricteds and I bet on... It, listen, like, like Max... Or, not Max. Um, yeah, no, Max in, in, the, in the Salt Lake City Regional. Props to them for just straight up not needing a Restricted Game 3. Um... Unfortunately, I'm not running Charizard. I'm running Graplock, so I can't do that. Oh, his Turvy's getting topsy, dude. He's totally gonna get his Turvy topsy, dude. Question is, who do I fake out? I'm assuming I just fake out the Whimsicott here. Um, no, nah, I always fake out Xerneas. And I Trick Room. Unless their Trick Room whims got themselves, then I'm in trouble. No, I don't, I mean, I'm Mental Herb, they can't taunt me. Yep, they went for the Geomancy. Okay. So, as much as I'd like to topsy-turvy here, my, my optimal play is actually to Snarl and get in my Calyrex. That's actually my play. They may have even been trying to stop my Trick Room by going for like Dazzling Gleam into like Moonblast. That could be a thing they did. Unfortunately, they're about to get snarled, so it's like whatever. What's your go-to in Sense Spread? 
236 HP, 236 special defense, um, 28 speed, 4 attack, 4 defense. No, it like the back of my hand. Go ahead, Geomancy. See what happens. Moonblast, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, there's no reason not to snarl and do that again. It's just to outspeed other incens. A lot of incens are only like 4 to 12 or 20 speed. 28 is just the number I like. And while I am running a Trick Room team, I find that Fast and Sin is still better than Slow and Sin for that, because you want to make sure you win the Fake Out Speed tie. I don't think this KO is at minus two, bud. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with this play. Especially if I get this KO on the Whimsicott. What if the reject button Whimsicott? Have I touched it yet? Helping hand? Uh, this should this should still not KO, so. Oh, and I do get the plus one. That's huge. I do actually get the plus one. Jess, thanks for the follow. And they're taking too much. Eat it. Ow. I actually did a decent amount. Uh, too bad they're within quaking range. Marcus, I just want to say, normally I can't use other people's spreads because I like to run calx and stuff, but the only person I really trust to grab a spread from and trust the calx in is yours. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, don't do that. I am not trustworthy. That's a joke. Okay. Uh, I'm going to quake their... Xerneas and Parting Shot, their Calyrex. Actually, no, I don't do that. I never do that. Um, because they're just gonna go for a high horsepower on me anyways. I'm gonna get in Grap Locked. And that should be fine. I'm gonna Quake their Xerneas. It should be in range at plus one, I think. Or at the very least, it'll let me live. And Grap Lock should eat any hit from this Calyrex, so I should be able to, especially if it's a non-stab move, like High horsepower, which they should be going for. Um, that'll let me coaching next turn, and then it's a really, really easy end game, I think. Especially if this manages to KO, which I'm not sure if it does, because Xerneas is actually pretty bulky. Xerneas is deceptively bulky on the physical side. We always expect it to not be, because it's like a special defense boosting Pokemon. And we just forget that it's like really bulky. It's got like 131 HP. Or not 131, it's, like it's, it's, it's a high HP stat. Anyways, yeah, this will give me a special defense boost, which is really nice. And now I can start clicking coaching and stuff. My horsepower, that's what I figured. Should live that easily. Oh, wow, that did nothing. Dude, this thing's nothing without its boost, is it? And that just bounces off. Beautiful. Beautiful move right there. Go for my coaching. Into you. And honestly, the Xerneas is in range of a Shadow Sneak. I'm much more concerned with the Calyrex at this point. And that might seem kind of weird, but trust me, like I'm 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 much more concerned with that. Oh, it protected. Okay, that's fine. I still get my special defense boost. And like I said, I'm not terribly concerned with Xerneas at this point. It's at minus two. And I'm at plus two. All right, no crit. Awesome. Is there any in range of Drain Punch? Do you guys want to take a bet? 
You guys want to take a bet on if Xerneas is in range of Drain Punch? That's the thing, I have like no- I have no attack investment on this. And it's only like a 75 base power move that's resisted. You're voting yes, a lot of people are voting yes. I'm not convinced. I made this grap locked, I'm not terribly convinced. Nothing. Awesome. Oh no, not my special attack stat. Oh jeez, that was a crit on grap locked. Oh no, it wasn't, okay. Well, I really hope it's in range. Get that KO, awesome. Nah? Alright, let's see. There's one person voting no. Topsy-turvy the Calyrex, ultimate flex. Thank you for the berry. That's pretty disheartening, I'm sure. Little chilling nay boost there. Mr. Squid, kill the Xerneas! Oh, okay, well we did it. Grap locked as a Xerneas counter, not clickbait. <laughs> oh no, not Regieleki. That actually is a little concerning, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, it's a Regieleki 3v1, what am I saying? Cal live Calyrex reaction. Alright. Uh, there's no way I drop to this. I just go for the KO. No, I'm living that. I'm both. Okay, not on Calyrex, but... Graplock? Graplock, though, he's built a little different. He's, he's built a little different. And he's life orb. That explains why I actually got KO'd there. my health back. Nice. Dude, that's actually really solid HP. Okay. I know that we can just KO it with, like, Mimikyu Grap Locked now, but we have to send a message. We're gonna Octo Lock it. We are going to Octo Lock it now. KOing Xerneas with a Splatoon character is worth a sub. Hey, thank you, Ice Appfell. Thank you. Rap lock moment. Squid live react. Can someone make that squid live reaction? Doesn't Grass Pledge and Fire Pledge do the similar thing to GMAX Vine Lash? No, uh, Grass Pledge and Fire Pledge together. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it does. I'm thinking of Swamp right now, which is water and grass. Yeah, it does a similar thing to Vine Lash. Or the fire move, technically. Okay, um, times like this, I wish I was a AV Ferrothorn, but I'm not. And that's just something that I've come to terms with. Also, we're capable of getting one shot by. We're capable of getting one shot by this uh, Kirim. That's a thing to take into consideration. I think I still have to go for the Trick Room play. Because this is the last match, I think regardless of what I do, I'm going to go ahead and bring the Grap Locked and be funny. Because if they do go for the Ferrothorn win con, I'm just going to go ahead and reverse it and make them just mauled, you know? Like, I've always wanted to just reverse this plus six Iron Defense Ferrothorn. Okay, but give me one reason not to go for, like, Snarl plus Shadow Sneak and just ignore the fact that I can go for a Trick Room. Like, actually, like, give me a reason. Because I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take the Calyrex from them. 
Because their play 100% is going to be to double down my Mimikyu, I think. Give me a reason not to do that. You're just going to Dynamax the, the Kyurem. Room temperature take. Water grass pledge is worse than Tailwind. Yeah. Oh, let's get it. Please be something that doesn't want to get snarled. Uh, oh, that's annoying. They would have to double the Mimikyu to KO because there's no reason not to click Astral Barrage there because they wouldn't because they wouldn't Dynamax regardless. I think they would want to double the Mimikyu with Astral Barrage because it would knock it in range of actually getting KO'd by Kyurem. Because I shouldn't get KO'd by just like a regular attack. Mimikyu isn't like that frail, I think. I hope. <laughs> Oh, apparently I do just get KO'd. Well, that's not great. Glad I could watch your stream. I uh, found you last week through your Colossal video. I've been invested ever since. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, that wasn't great. I didn't expect to get one shot there. Such is life, though. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Uh, Turbo Blaze, it hits through Disguise. So I was thinking that they would want to double the Mimikyu just to get the initial Disguise damage, because that would knock it in range of getting KO'd, but apparently they just know that they straight up KO it. But hear me out. Now I do this. <laughs> I knew they wouldn't fake out. I knew they wouldn't fake out. I live that, I get a second Snarl off, and now they should be going for the Parting Shot onto my Calyrex, and next turn, I'm gonna go ahead and Parting Shot into their Curum, and then I'm gonna go for my uh, Topsy-Turvy play into my own Calyrex to get a ton of uh, attack. There it is. There it is. Earthworm? Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so this is where I parting shot the um, Kyurem. And I guess I just go for... I guess I just go for Protect and parting shot. I don't really need the Glacial Lance yet. I guess I could. The only thing is I only have seven of them. And that's kind of annoying. I honestly don't mind losing my Incineroar here, but I don't think I will. I think they're just going to switch in their own Incineroar. Switch it in again, please. Cycle in the Incineroar again. I oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. This is perfect. This is perfect. I endorse styling on Kieran White players. Body press? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I'm at minus two attack. What a shame. Okay. I need to get um, special defense boost this turn. Does Octolock make contact? That's my question. So here's a little bit of a weird thing I have to do. I have to protect here in case they decide to fake out. Because I don't want to get a special defense boost before I um, topsy-turvy. That's not good. 
Three turns of Trick Room. That's enough to make this work. Uh, I'll go for the Topsy Turvy to lock, or I'll go for the Octo Lock this turn in case they don't fake out because that'll lock in the um, the Ferrothorn. And it also prevent Iron Defense from getting too out of hand. Dude, it's it's literally Calyrex. I don't know how else to explain it. It's literally Calyrex. It's literally 1984. Yep, there's the fake out. Had to call that, unfortunately. Iron Defense, go for it. Go for it. See if I care. Yeah, I figured it was affected by Protect. See if I care if you set up Iron Defenses on me. Alright, this turn they should feel extremely safe. They should feel extremely safe just to set up another Iron Defense and Parting Shot me. Little do they know, it's the end. If this goes off, I'm, I'm, I'm like convinced this is the end of the game. If he doesn't, just hard switch out. This this should be the end of the game. Because they don't have the power to break through uh, Calyrex's special defense boost. Especially if I topsy-turvy this. Especially if they go for a second iron defense and get and get, get greedy. If they like try to go for full iron defense boosts. Thinking I can't break. Alright, let's see. Angel, thank you for the sub. Thank you. Body press. Okay, that kind of sucks, to be honest. It's going to do a lot. But I'm going to get my berry, so that means I can still topsy-turvy. So next turn, expect a topsy-turvy coming your way. L plus ratio plus you're, <laughs> you just got turvied. Okay. Ryan, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. We just used Topsy Turvy. <laughs> no Turvies? <laughs> Hail stopped. That's great. I don't even need it. The Bully, thank you so much for the uh, follow. There's Kiram. I should take another Body Press, so I'm going to Quake here. And I'm going to go for a Topsy Turvy onto you. I guess I could have doubled the Ferrothorn. That would have been also safe. Great content. Gotta love to see it. Uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you. Yeah, I guess I could have also just doubled the Ferrothorn, but I don't want to do that in case they protect it. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you go for that? Behold, the world's weakest iron defense. Okay, uh, I have a feeling we win. Cephalopod, de that's the iron defensant. <laughs> Hold on, I need, whoever's watching the video, you need to see this iron defensant. That's just funny. Just just so you could understand what I'm reading at the moment. Live Graplock reaction. Dude, I think we one shot with Drain Punch. Check its stats. I'm going to check its stats. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. That's a good way to end the stream. That, that's a that's a really nice... We got the Nene. We got the Nene. Thank you. Can't check its stats anymore. Nope. We lost that ability. Alright. So we should be top 500. Uh, let me see.
Imagine thinking you got everything perfect only to get topsy-turvied.